What's going on, guys? Welcome to another Legacy Cube Draft here. Last night, I was at the post office, and I backed my car into a pole. Not a pole. One of the cement posts that are in the ground. Uh, I was backing up, and then I was like, you know what? There's an exit behind me. I'll just back up, go to that one, and then I'll go out. And it was raining, <clears throat> and my windows were a little foggy, and my rear camera was also a little foggy. So I didn't see it, and I just slammed right into it. So I went to an auto body shop today, and uh, they were like, it was a really nice auto body shop, right? And they had like pictures of Lamborghinis on the walls, and they had a freshwater aquarium, and I was like, hmm, interesting, interesting. And this is all, these are all telltale signs here that this is going to be an expensive place. I don't have collision insurance because <clears throat> I work from home, so I don't drive a ton, and I've also never been in an accident of my own causing. So I've been driving for a million years and I uh, never really had a problem. I'm not a big uh, I'm not a big accident guy. I don't really get into to de de vehicular issues frequently. <clears throat> so I went to the first place and uh, they were like, "Hey, it's going to be like they the estimate I got a printed out estimate it was beautiful, beautifully done. Um and it looked like it was going to be $2400. And I was like, "Dude, <clears throat> I have a 2006 Prius that I paid cash for and it was $9000 and I just Paid for it the day I bought it. And this is about probably like seven years ago. It's been a while. It's, I've had this car for a long time. And it's done It's done me well. And um, so I'm like, you know, I'm not going to put $2,400 into it for... <clears throat> well, the problem is it's not just a dent, though. Like, it's... So, like, the back of the car, it's, like, in now. Not like a... It's not a tremendous amount, but the hood won't... The, the, the trunk won't actually close properly. It goes down, but it won't lock, and it's like a very heavy trunk. It's a it's a it's a hatchback. Priuses are hatchbacks, obviously. So like, it's a super heavy trunk. It's not like popping up or anything, um, but it won't lock because it's like it's kind of like it's kind of bowed in a little bit. Um, so I went to another guy, and this was less. This is just like a guy. He's been doing it for twenty five years. Gets five stars on Yelp, and he had two dogs at his shop. And so that was, I was like, this is it. This is going to be the place. Two dogs at the shop. I almost never can catch you live since I'm actually catching you live. Thank you so much, Madash. Really appreciate it, buddy. This will go to the uh, Prius Repair Fund, apparently. Um, so <clears throat> went to this guy's shop. And he was like, what do you want to, What do you? so what are you really looking to get here uh, as far as, like, repairs? I mean, do you just want to, like, and I'm like, look, I'm just looking to close the trunk. And, like, so the bumper, the bumper went like this. And so there's two, like, side pieces that are, like, sticking out now because the bumper is, like, it's it's a little it's a little messy, right? So I'm just like, look, just fix, push those side pieces in, straighten it out, and if, and, and let me close the trunk and I'll call it good, right? And he's like, you don't want any paint work done or anything. I'm like, no, that's fine. And he's like, well, I'm not I'm obviously not gonna to give you what the insurance companies are, would give you if you were going through insurance. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, definitely don't. And uh, so he's like, yeah, it's probably gonna be. I mean, I can do it on I can get it done on Monday, and it'll probably be between three and five hundred bucks. And I was like. Yes, that's perfect. That's significantly better than twenty four hundred dollars. So uh, ideally, this will be taken care of on Monday for three to five hundred dollars, and uh, still a super obnoxious situation. And that's my car story. And so that's why I'm awake this morning. I went immediately at seven thirty to the to the car place, and they gave me a twenty four hundred dollar estimate. Drove around for a bit, went to this other car place. That worked out well. So now I'm awake, and uh, here we are. So, that's my car story. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. And all that brought me to, like, looking up leases. And I'm like, maybe I just lease a new car. Maybe I just get a new car and I'll lease it. I don't like having monthly payments, though. I love that I own my car right now and I just don't have to pay anything for it. But, what are you going to do? Nickel Bolas is a pretty sweet first pick. I don't know if it's as strong as, like, a Jitte. But, that's a good card. You guys ever cast the Nickel Bolas before? Doubt it. Frank Karsten, that's actually pretty good. Get a bicycle. Um, hmm. I'm at a point in my life where I, I don't really want a bicycle because I'd rather uh, not sweat uh, at, the, at the location I'm going to. And I also, I'm, I'm, at a, I'm at a point in my life where I like buying things that I can take to my house with me in my car, like groceries or furniture. And uh, I don't know if a bicycle is really conducive for that. It's either, I like Nicol Bolas, it puts you in three colors, but I'm a big fan of this card. It's a great card. 
We can just take Jitte though. Also, if we take this uh, image, Gear Hulk, Confluence, other Confluence. I don't know, this is a tough pick. It might just be Jitte. Mm -hmm. I don't want to. I really don't want to commit to three colors this early. All right. Oh, do we just do this? I really don't want to be this guy. No one wants to be this guy. Thunderbreak Regent is actually Thunderbreak Regent, as uh, Admiral Akbar would say. I'm gonna have to put some more, uh, put some more mountain mountain juice in here. David, thank you so much for eight months in a row. My God, how time flies! I have no idea what the pick is here. This is a pretty good pack. I like this guy. Just adding two colors of uh, creature mana. That is not bad. Maybe it's just this guy. I actually kind of like this guy. We play him on three, we can just ramp to six. Green, white enchantment is pretty good. There's also opposition in the queue, which is just better though. Um, I also, like one of the best parts of things like glare is that you can tap down, like opposition rather, is that you can tap down their lands and glare does not let you do that, unfortunately. But, uh, you know, Shaman's cool. I took Shaman because it's only one color, and uh, I kind of want to try it out. Being able to pay add two mana for any any color creature is pretty good. In case you guys didn't know, this pack's pretty pretty rough. We got an ultimate price. We got a Pia and Kieran Nalar. Just take an ultimate price. Hmm. Who's Kenjo? <clears throat> well, I hope that I hope that you recovered from me passing opposition. I hope it wasn't too painful for you. Oh, I like a Carnage Tyrant. Turn three Shaman into Carnage Tyrant. That's where I want to be in this cube, and then I want to equip my Jitte to it. Last time, can you come to my stream and Because I just nearly forgot what they both times. But uh, let's let's see work. Catch you later. OMG Zoro, thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate the uh, the commitment to catching later. Ob Nixilis, Obby. Hey, Obby. I like this guy because it lets you cast this or this. <laughs> That's a little Jeff Goldblum laugh, I think. I also have a package coming, so I might have to dip and grab that. I don't think it's going to come until later, but you know. I do like sneak attack. I don't think it's that great though. Kenjo Namo the Namo Ehoshiro. Yeah, that's that's a weird name. Could just be Rattleclaw Mystic too. Recon Bravo team, long time no see, buddy. I think it's any one of these four cards or this one. God, that's a lot of options. We could just take Ob and, and stay. Unfortunately, Shaman does not help cast Ob. He does help cast Kalidus, but I like Ob a lot. I'm going to go with the Kalidus. It's on color. It's easy to cast. We can ramp into it. We can put an Ajite on it. It goes It goes well with us. I like Rexage. I think Rexage is a powerful wizard. Hypnotic Spectre also pretty good. Hmm. The thing is, I feel like we're going to be heavier green than black, and I also feel like... Uh, I always want access to this kind of ability. Yeah, I'm gonna take the Rex Sage here. I like a Necrotol. God, I really want to try a deck with Arcane Artisan. They're not blue at all. I think Necrotol is better than Pelucranos. Brando, no worries, buddy. We'll we'll get through it. Carmichael be okay. All our three drops are shamans. Hmm, 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 hmm. 
522 subs, but let's not forget 172 of those are going to expire next month, so... Cringe city when that happens. But for now, we'll ride high for now. Search for or living death. Ooh, living death is pretty cool. I'm going to go with search, though. Living death is real... It's, it's real tricky to build around. Oh, I like Tatiova. Especially because we can uh, cast it with... Shaman of the Forgotten Ways. I don't care about Exhum. I do like a Mimic Vat too. Actually, Mimic Vat's probably better, right? Drana! I'll take a Drana. I like an Anguish done making. Um, actually, Regrowth is probably pretty good. Regrowth is not terrible. He just he just said Regrowth is pretty good. Regrowth is not terrible. Hopefully those subs do know it's only $1 to resub this month. If you're resubbing in September, it's only $1. So make sure you resub. The Rare Books Department I work for recently purchased a substantial comic book collection. I learned yesterday that the collection includes copies of... I'm gonna, yep, yeah, that's fine. I, we're, we're gonna play anything from that pack anyway. Uh, Justice League of America number one, Uncanny X Men, and Amazing Fantasy fifteen. Th that's a pretty s insane collection. I would be, uh, I would check the validity of those because that sounds insane. Kerwit, what's going on, buddy? Mm -hmm. What do we got here? What do we got here? What do we got here? Mystic Snake. Double blue. Not my not my preferred choice. I like a Karanos. I like a Crater Hoof Behemoth. I'm, hey, Frank, remember when I was telling you I had a Rothko sketch? It gets me thinking that I'll probably... It's pretty rare. and Maybe I should insure it so it looked like insuring it. Looked into insuring its Saran Art insurance policy, and because of its prominence, it was going to cost me. 1100 a month to insure? I'll just take my chances, unfortunately. I would get it appraised if I were you. I think appraising it would be a sweet idea. But holy smokes, man. 1100 a month? I think it's just Crater Hoof. Oh, I like a Dragonlord Jermoka. Especially if we're Abzan. We could Abzan. Also, Jermoka is another 6 drop that we can cast off of Shaman. I like Oracle and I like Harmonize as well. Go for Throat's fine, but we already have an ultimate price. Oh, I feel like your message. I feel like you're you're you're, you're sending it to. Seven hundred eighty-five thousand. Are you kidding? <laughs> There's no way that's real, right? I mean, I, a Rothka recently sold for 86 million. So maybe. I'm going to take this and hopefully maybe the other two come back. Oh, I like a Court of Calling. I also actually I like a Godless Shrine a lot here. Morgan, what's going on? My favorite Morgan. Shrine for sure? Oh, okay, Godless Shrine. I was thinking like there was a shrine, like a shrine of Loyal Legion or something. Like one of the artifact shrines, and I was like, shrine? But yeah, you're right. I like a Brightling here. Oh, Brightling double white. More like a double whiteling. Ah. Ah, oh, God. It's so bad. Might just be reanimate or gifted Aetherborn. Spazio, you're killing me here, buddy. You're killing me. 
Oh my god, dude. I don't think Fatal Push or Reanimate are that great here. I just don't, like, I'm not a big Reanimate fan here. We don't have a ton of ways to kill her, guys. We have Necrotal and Ultimate Price, so, like, we don't have ways to get guys into the graveyard, either ours or theirs. I want to take the Brightling. I think it's probably pretty strong. It's white intensive, but we have no reason. Like, we have a search, we have a shaman. Is it two mana of any one color? Oh, any combination? So I could literally play a Dragon Lord Ojita off that guy? That's interesting. I could see it being Devoted Druid, even though that's not super ideal. Is there a combo with the Voted Druid? Are there any like quill spikes or anything in this format? Is there a uh It could be Emrakul. I could see Emrakul getting the uh getting the nod here, but like I could also take just City of Brass. I take the Druid. It's still ramp. Oh, Woodland Cemetery is nice. Ulamog is nice. Are we going to be able to cast an Ulamog in this deck? I don't think the Woodland Cemetery. i just rather have some fixing at this point. Ooh, Grave Daddy? I like a Silumgar, but we're not really Silumgar territory. I'm going to take this Grave Daddy. Sun Daddy? Oh, man. So many daddies. Cloud Sprint, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I think it just made me Mindstone here. We already have a uh, Rex Sage. I'm not too concerned with Elder. Rager's kind of just mad. I don't really need another six drop, especially a double white one when we already have Brightling. I do like a Beast Within. Yeah, I like Thrun as well, but I think Beast Within is a little too versatile. Oh, Shambling Vent is nice. That was a nice late pickup. Court of Calling? Demon? Cord gets Dromoka, which is nice. It doesn't get much else right now. I'm just going to go with the Demon. Shut up and take my money. Oh god, I hope we have another pack. I don't think our deck looks great. I think our deck looks good so far. I don't think it looks I don't think it looks great. And I like that we got this Soren and we can just pop it in there. Aetherborn or Fatal Push? Probably Fatal Push. Oh, Bailoth is nice against the red decks. So that's pretty cool. Alright. Okie dokie. Yeah, I like this deck so far. Brightling seems pretty resilient. If we can keep the white mana up. I can't believe I thought this card cost five. It, it might be the only Ling card. So... Hmm. Bird of Paradise seems very, very good. Him to Torok, Bone Shredder, Unbarrel Rights also all seem very good. I like Unbarrel Rights a lot. Are the donation and sub sounds off? They shouldn't be. They should not be, but what are you going to do? One Frank appreciation buck. I didn't even see that. Hail dog. Thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Um. All right. Well, 
It might be on burial rights, especially when we have Carnage, Tyrant, Schmoke. We have a lot of things that we can get into the graveyard, and if we can get them in there early. I like on burial rights here. Oh, I like a Green Warden. Oh, I like a Vraska a lot. I don't think we want Eternal Witness because we do have um, Regrowth. So if we really need that ability, we have it. I think Vraska is super strong. I think it was stronger in the Vintage Cube, ironically, because uh, you could get it out pretty early with all the Signets and Moxin and Lotai. And unfortunately, Shaman of the Forgotten Ways can't help us ramp into Veraska. I still think it's Veraska. There's a lot of a lot of six drops here. That being the case, I'm probably taking Overgrown Battlement. There's no white cards I really care about in this pack, and there's definitely no black cards I really care about. I also don't think it's Terastodon. I'd rather just have the Battlement in case we can... Oh, Stirring Wildwood's pretty good. Maelstrom Pulse, pretty good. Lingering Soul's pretty good. Hmm. I'm not even a huge Soren fan. My biggest problem with uh, Utopia Sprawl is that we don't, we're, we don't have many forests. Limited Sedition, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I don't know if I care about the Drana here. I mean, I'd rather have him burial rights than whip here. I'd also rather help fix our mana. We only have three land. I'm going to take the land. I don't think it's... Like, we have 23 cards here, and I think our deck is actually fine. But I'd rather be able to cast things like Brightling or Dromoka or what have you. So I'm going to take the Temple Garden here. Don't think it's either one of these or this or this, so. Blooming Marsh? All right, now we're just going to take infinite lands. Oh, uh, this is a really late treachery, and I'm kind of disappointed that it's still here because it shouldn't be. Animate Dead's pretty good, though. I'll be, I'll be fine without it. We have a, we have a, I'd rather just be able to cast our spells. Cast Out's pretty nice. Yeah, we're taking the cast out. That's a good card. That is an uncomfortably late treachery. I was actually like, how many white cards do we have? Like three? We can probably switch out to blue here and take the treachery. However, we do have like four white fixing lands. Uh, which makes that significantly harder. Hmm. Timely reinforcements might just be the pick. We're not going to play Entreat. Duplicate, we don't need another six drop that does that kind of thing. I think we're just going to take the Timely for the sideboard. Goes well with the Obstinate Bailoth, and we probably can't lose. Uh, we can't lose against the aggro decks, is what I was going to say. Not just can't lose in general. I like Avacyn, but I am, despite having Brightling, I don't really want that many double white cards. I'd rather just take Bone Shredder, because we don't have that much removal. We have Necrotal, Ultimate Price. I can probably cut Fatal Push for Bone Shredder, but... Malicious, malicious Affliction... Hmm. Speak of the Devil. Actually, that card's pretty good. That's probably definitely better than Fatal Push. Eh, Sprawl came back. So we need one cut. It might be... Hmm... It might actually just be Overgrown Battlement. Turn 3 Shaman is pretty insane because it enables Grave Titan, Dragon Lord, Dramoka, and Carnage Tyrant, which is all pretty good. The only card we can't do is Vraska there. Also, all three of these are pretty sick with an Umbrella Rights. Hmm. 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 Oh, Council's Judgment came back. So did Lingering Souls. Ooh, that's pretty good with Crater Hoof. I think Council's Judgment is actually stronger, interestingly enough. Uh, the problem with Sprawl, I don't know if you know this, is it has to go on a forest. 
And I don't know, like, we probably have, like, five forests in the deck after, uh... After all said and done. I actually don't like this Soren very much. I just don't care about him. <laughs> and what's our removal package? This guy... This guy, this guy, this guy. We can probably cut Necrotal or Bone Shredder. These are all non-black, non-artifact, and I think one of these can probably go. Bone Shredder is easier to cast. This guy is better in combat. I could also just cut Drana. I'm not super excited about Drana in here. Yeah, I like that better, actually. And I don't think there's anything in the sideboard I'm really super excited about. I really don't like this Soren. Like, you negative make a guy, you plus one, give your guys lifelink and plus one, plus oh. With this Soren, maybe Lingering Souls might have been better. Limited Sedition, did I thank you for the sub? I think I did. I'm not sure. Really appreciate it. Also, all of these lands are good. Okay. So we're splashing for three white cards, two of them are double white. That's pretty funny. All right. So one, two, three, four. This is seven white sources. That's actually great. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight black sources, which should be fine. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, eight, seven. Yeah, that seems great. This hand looks great. Everything's great. We're having a good time. I wonder if I want to play Mindstone instead of uh, Devoted Druid because they might be able to burn it out. Well, dang. If we could play Dromoka next turn, I would have probably played Devoted Druid, but it would only be five mana, so. I, that's great. All right, I'm a fan. So we can go Mimic Vat and then play Land. Sorry if you guys can hear the washing machine back there. I'll take it. This guy feels pretty hard to deal with for the red deck. Oh, the old post-combat Aether Sphere Harvester. That's good. That is not the best usage of prowess, my friend. Red Shade is kind of a ling. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. All right, so we're just going to take it, and then we're going to play either this or this. Do you activate Meat of All Attack for six? Because that's pretty good. Might as well put it under there. Because that's how streaming works. Okay, well, that's fair.
Well, the life, not only the lifelink, but the fact that it has seven toughness against the mono red deck is also pretty good. That was a nice, easy prevent three there. I'm a fan. My Dromoka has a first name. It's obviously Dromoka because that's its name. Five seven Dragon Lord with Lifelink. Act of Treason. Crew my Harvester. Do we just block? I think even if we block and they kill it somehow, like with a flame slash or something. And we put it under the Mimic Vat. I think that's still pretty good. Yeah, I'll put the Aether Sphere Harvester under there. I don't think that makes a difference, but, like, if we have... If we can... Every time this comes into play, actually, we get two energy. That's pretty cool. We go back up to 20 life. That's pretty good. So, like, we can always just make a copy of this and then crew it. Seems fine. With the pirates we make from... Oh, all right. I guess that's the end. I guess they were just like, let's see if he blocks... Maybe if I just never block for the rest of the game, they win, but. All right, well, you got it. My girlfriend just left for work saying goodnight. Oh, God. No, no bueno. I should have brought in Fatal Push, but I got distracted, so... Oh, we should have also brought in a bunch of things. We should have brought in Timely. We should have brought in a bunch of things. Obstinate Bayloth. Actually, I I didn't even sideboard. I just clicked Submit because we, our game one was so easy. So uh, hopefully we just don't get wrecked here. Wreck Sage. Seems solid. I don't like that they know about it, but... That's life. That's what all the people say. No blocks. Hmm. It's either Swamp Malicious Affliction, this guy. We didn't pick up a lot of cards that are good against aggro. We totally did. Picked up Timely Reinforcements, we have uh, Fatal Push, we have Soren for Life Gain, we have Obstinate Bayloth. We actually have a ton of good cards against aggro decks. I'm going to play Druid here. They don't have anything in their graveyard, so I'm not too concerned with that. They also didn't have anything for one mana to kill this guy if they were going to do that. A braid seems like a nice use of 
I'll take three here. Mindstone. I don't know what's scarier. Grim Lava Mancer or Goblin Guide? Probably Goblin Guide. Huh, there's Mimic Vat. I'm still not going to take an extra two here just because of, uh... Pretty sure Court of Calling is legit in all formats. Yep, that's pretty good. So we're going to Mind Stone, and then we can either Mimic Vat or Wreck Sage one of the tokens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if we, if we play Wreck Sage, they can just kill it, and we get no value out of it. I'm not a huge fan of that happening. I'm super tired and caffeine is not doing it. Am I helping? Am I helping keep you awake a little bit? That would be nice. Go to seven here. They can shoot me with an artifact, put me to five. Shoot me with another artifact, put me to... All right, well, if they're tapping out here. All right, that's actually great. And they know we had Rex Age in hand. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Things just happened. Yes, please. Kerwin, where are you? What time is it when I usually stream for you? Is it like 4 a.m.? 3 a.m.? So I'm just going to keep this up. I'd like to wreck Sage and kill this, but it doesn't we don't really need to do that right now. Did I oversleep? It's not 2. That's correct. It's 2 somewhere. That counts, right? Also, if they didn't attack with Grim Lava Mancer, they could have responded to the uh, Mimic Vat trigger and exiled their own PNLR so I don't get the value out of it. Here comes old Thundermile Hellkite, like you do. No, no, not like you do. Oh, Thailand for a few days. Okay, so the sleepiness makes sense, and the time change makes sense. All of this is making sense now. I was like, none of this seems normal. Now I get it. Now I get it. You got it. I'm just gonna let this guy die. We're not gonna be paying the upkeep. I'm not gonna put it under the th under the thing though. Theoretically, with uh, PNLR under our under our vat, we should have enough blockers in case they have like a no. In case they have like a Thundermile Hellkite or something, we can always, after their trigger res resolves, we can make more blockers and block it. 
We have to be careful because we are technically at five, thanks to Grim Lava Mancer, but they don't have anything else in the graveyard, so. I guess we could also kill that if we had red. Shredder's not bad, but it doesn't kill any of the artifacts, which is pretty problematic. They're going to shoot... Oh, they're going for our face. Aggressive. Nothing has died this turn, right? Alright. Still pretty scary. Yikes. Well, now I don't want to wreck sage their Aether Sphere Harvester because then they kill us. Yep, alright. I mean, we're still pretty dead. Like, they just have to get one card in the graveyard. Oh, that's a land. Mm, Batter Skull's a good one. You better crew. Crew do 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 do. Well, they have no cards in hand, so as long as we can prevent them from activating Grimalavamancer and getting any cards in their graveyard, I think we can just win the game, right? That's a dude. All right, gonna give you give you the business. Shoot you for one. Well, they're in top deck mode. None of their creatures. This this can't die. This won't die. And this none of the, none of the things on the board go to their graveyard. So that's pretty okay. Red mana would be great. Oh, no attacks. All right. Nailed it. So what they, they just block here, it dies, they gain four, but this guy goes goes pretty hard. And now we also have the treasure, so we can activate Mimic Vat if we want to. We just have to dodge burn spells that kill us for it's definitely we're we we're definitely still dead to this top deck that they just hit, so. Never didn't have it. Crew. 
fringe city. All right, push comes in, Bailoth comes in, reinforcements come in. <laughs> oh, we can take the beast with it out. I never want to give them a thing. Carnage Tyrant, I don't think we care about that much. Crater Hoof, we don't care about that much. Soren actually might be decent here. Keeping our guys lifelink is not terrible. I could also have Jitte. Like, our deck is pretty well positioned here, I feel like. I'll keep this despite black. We have a bunch of black and also have a ramp spell, so. <laughs> Nailed it. Never didn't have it. Opening on Misha's factory. A bold strategy, Cotton. I guess they can attack with it, but then we can block, so. Flame Slash. Once we get a creature, Jitte for life. Tempted to have waited to cast this until we get a guy, but it's not very good. Like, they do have a braid. Probably in hand. Lucky, 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 lucky. Called the flame slash, called the abrade. Do you ever get tired of always being right? Constantly. I constantly get tired of always being right. It is exhausting. You got it. Give me a free land. Interesting. Iron Shaman. Did they just play Iron Shaman? They just play Iron Shaman as like a. 2-1 Menace guy. That was a good hit. That was a great hit. Giving them free lands. The Megamorph Cross is only one. That's really interesting. I would have just played a 2-2 here and then flipped it next turn, right? Oh, dang. I don't think we want to play that yet. I think we just want to actually Bone Shredder. We'll kill the Iron Shaman because it's difficult to block. We can block the Goblin Guido. Any black mana gets us Grave Titan. Any, 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 any regular mana gets us Frasca, so that's pretty good. Like I don't want we didn't play Brightling because I don't want to go white white colorless 
play Brightling, have them Brimstone volley it. We have to bounce it. Uh, we take four, and then, like, we just have to play the removal game. Where, like, we have to dodge their removal. Mindstone. That's actually pretty good, because it does let us play Mindstone and Brightling next turn. That's actually fine. I don't care about that. So we can go Mindstone. And we can play around Wasteland. Keep the planes up. Here we go. That's actually fine. Brightling seems insane here. Yeah, they're not even going to attack. That's great. <laughs> okay. <coughs> well, now we're in good shape, aren't we? Well then. Well then. Well then. We could just kill the Pia. I don't think we care about that though. I think we'd rather just play Grave Titan. I kind of want to attack and see what they do. I mean, worst case scenario, we gain three. We're at 18. That's extremely healthy. Do we get in there with a Brightling? I don't know. I think we actually just keep the Brightling mana up. All right. No active treason. I don't know if active treason is even in this cube, but it might be. It might be in the cube. They played that mountain pretty quick. Is this where the Stormbreath Dragon or the Thundermaw Helkiteo comes down? I mean, Vraska coming down next turn and being able to kill something and make us a treasure uh, means we have two activations for Brightling, which is nice. Can you get Float? Nah, Vigilance and Lifelink. I'll take two. Five mana, huh? Batter Skull. Ooh, I like this. I like a Vraska killing a Batter Skull. Okay, that's probably better. <laughs> oh my god, Magic the Gathering, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, that's gas. Lucky, 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 lucky. Now we're going ham. Ham, swine, skillet. We got four activations here. That's pretty good. Oh my god, are they going to like seven for one? That's great. That's just great. One, two. You're going to go in the front. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sure, that's totally fine. Gain lifelink. Uh, plus one, negative one. And do it again. Ah, oh, yes. Going to 21 with a million dudes on the board feels good. Brightling gaining us five also feels pretty good. 
Um, so if we bounce it and they have another burn spell, they could respond by us to us bouncing it by sh by sh by killing it again. If we give it negative one plus one, the burn spell only has to deal one damage. I think that's a risk we can take. I think any spell they cast is going to deal more than one. So it would have to deal three, though. All right, 2-4. That's a 2-4, good buddy. Oh, all right, that's the game, I guess. All right. Deck's pretty good. Yeah, you guys don't need to tell me about 2 first. I know about 2 first. I think this hand's keepable. It's an interesting hand, but I think I'll keep it. We got two two playables with a Grave Titan in the... Uh... Okay, well, that's not what we're looking for here. Hmm. Fascinating. Oh, resolved? All right, well... All right, so hopefully they tap out for something boring, like uh, an Oracle of Molten. Nope, they didn't do it. All right. <laughs> something good? Dang it. That's annoying. That's hard to deal with. First play of the game is a Tamiyo. Awkward. I'm just going to kill this guy now because I don't want you to get another guy. Even though we can Necrotal this thing, I'd rather just kill it now. Okay, this seems good. Because then we get to untap, play Grave Titan, Carnage Tyrant, or Veraska. Yeah, that's not... Really? Interesting. Two cards in hand, Vraska just gets a kill control magic? Hmm. I guess we have to, we have to hit a land here. Oh, that's... Come on, really? <sighs> Crying out loud. That's so sad. <sighs> so Tamiyo's going to get to go to 8. We're not going to have a recourse for that, unfortunately. I don't actually think we can beat that. That had to be an untapped land for us. Like, we're, we were so ahead once we had the Shaman and with six mana to play Veraska, Grave Titan, or Carnage Tyrant, but... Tapped on the forest instead of... Interesting. 
Oh, they parted the water veil. That's pretty good. No, well, that's a thing, I guess. Well, that's hard to deal with, guys. That was prob that was an obnoxious. Um Bringing the cast out over probably Necrotal. I think that's actually fine. I don't think we want any of these other cards. play first this hand is it's again it's not great but we have all our lands we have a cast out that we can either cycle or use depending on what we want to do Yeah, Woodland Cemetery was not the ideal draw there, but... Got man lands on deck. Creature lands, I should say. Good card. Bad card. Not ideal. Does obnoxious, obnoxious put it on top of your liar from your graveyard as one of his plus ones? What are you saying right now? Well, that's not bad. God, I love the uh, the turn four ancestral vision exiled. Well, that's obnoxious. More so now. So if we want to attack, it's, and we want to give life link. I guess we can just keep up a lifelink, right? We just go one, two, three, or keep up a bounce rather, not a lifelink. I guess we could have paid two less mana and uh, just pumped Brightling. We would have dealt one less damage though.
Okie dokie. Kira is really obnoxious. Like, surprisingly obnoxious. You preordain back. Sure. It's gotta be a land. Oh god. Oh. Do I just have to deal with this? I'm pretty sure I just have the ultimate price and then cast out. Or, or the other way around, maybe. I love that on your. Er I love that you're on early. I usually watch during my off period at work. Today is half day, and I was like, "What am I gonna do now?" That's all. <laughs> nice, nice. Wind Reaver is kind of a ling. It should be Windling. That's what it would be. That's what it should be called. Old Windling. Do we just pass here? Probably. Lings, 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 ling, 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 lings. That card's obnoxious. Two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three spells. Ten lands. Huh. And next game. Oh, that would have been nice. Force spike is great in cube. Don't get it twisted. My matchmaking failed. Let's keep it. Oh, another red deckums. 
All right. All right. <laughs> Manatithe is the goat. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, look at that guy. Look at this modern gentleman. I'm going to ultimate price this dismissive pyromancer. Dismiss no more. This guy is this guy is the real goat in this matchup. Oh, they didn't do anything. I don't like this guy, so I'm going to kill it. I don't think the trophy leader wins or qualifies for anything. I think it's just for funsies, as far as I know. All right. I think I, I'm actually going to pay for this guy. Uh, yeah, we'll do the green. We actually don't have a second green on board. Are you going to kill this guy? Are you going to kill my bone shredder? Are you going to searing blaze? Wow. All right. Wow. Wow. Mm, no. I don't want to actually attack here because if they have any damage spell that deals three, then we can't cast Dramoka next turn. So. Oh, God. What are you doing? Oh, wow. Yeah, that's fine. Dramoka is going to bring in the pain. Now I'm wondering if I block. I don't think I do. I think I could just take one here. Oh yeah, it's Pain Town. It's Pain Town. Pain Town? Is that a place? There's a town in a quiet village called Pain Town. One of my favorite bands just came out with a shirt with an image of one of my favorite movies, and I can't afford to buy things when I'm buying like three. As someone who can't afford to buy things, that makes me appreciate the uh, the sub even more. Thank you, buddy. You are the best. I'm going to take Beast Within out. I never want to give them a thing. Fatal Push always comes in. There's a town in the quiet village. Yeah, we're definitely bringing in Timely, and we're bringing in Bailoth. Uh, we just make two more cuts. Probably Bailoth, or Behemoth, rather. And we'll take out Carney T. Thank you. Scorched Skid, thanks so much for the resub. Welcome back, Scorched Skid. I don't know why this uh, donation goal is not working, but... It's probably the same reason why your mom's not working. Boom! Roasted. I'll keep it. This hand's not great, don't get me wrong. Don't get it twisted, this is not a great hand. But we're on the draw, and they're gonna play... No, no Goblin Guide, okay. Okay, ooh. Ooh. But two lands, and we're good. Frank Mike, any news there? <laughs> not yet. Not yet. I need to have designs made. If anybody wants to make, if anybody wants to help me get some, if anyone does graphic design stuff or knows graphic designers who would actually help me out or uh, give me a sweet deal. Okay, well that's okay. I accept that. It lets both of these... Oh, this is going to proc next turn? Proc. What is he, a World of Warcraft player? <laughs> Picking! Wow. Life and dudes. Are you going to skull crack me? Are you going to counter this? What's happening right now? 
Sure. They brimstone volleyed themselves. That's great. So they traded. I, I, I gained. I didn't gain six. They took three. Oh, that's friggin' beautiful. Okay, well. Well, we don't have double black, double green, or double white. However, Council's Judgment, if we get another white, is pretty good. Come on, white mana. Hey, white mana. I want to block here. Our job is to stay alive. It's going to be a blooming marsh. On <laughs> burial rights. Well, biscuits. Let's crack this. Oh, we did it. We're so good at this game. Oh, you're just going to... I'm not going to name your Grim Lava Man, sir. Oh, you're going to kill one of my soldiers. Okay. Yeah, deal. Hey, white mana. Yum. Our hand's also gas, because now we can cast all of these things. And Kalidus, thankfully, they didn't have Brimstone Volley anymore, so our Kalidus is likely to survive. They don't have that either. Okay, well, now we're blocking here and playing a Kalidus, and now all your four damage spells are probably gone. Have you heard the good word of the Blood Chief of Get? Well, this is the traitor of Get, I guess. Aleshnorn? Big fat floaty boy? Are you just going to bane? Yep. Well, we are going to be putting this guy under the vat, so that's pretty good. I'd like to hit a land here so we can bring Kalidus back, Bone Shredder your thing. Perfect. Magic loves us. I'm going to kill this guy because if you want to exile your Devil's Play, that's totally fine with me. Wow, you do? Yeah. yeah, I was thinking that might not be the best idea for you. And we're back at 11. Alright, seems good. Is that another Iron Shaman? Yes, it is. Okay. A Mountain. Is it cast or play? You may play that card. Okay. And done. Okay, I guess Kalidus under the vat's pretty good. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. If you're watching, if you're watching on Twitch, I'm not going anywhere. If you're watching on YouTube, check out my Patreon and Twitch profile. The links are in the description below, and you can support me in those ways if you so desire. Especially after my sad car story that you heard earlier. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. And uh, thanks for watching.